welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April. I have a two-year-old son named Martin, and I am currently five weeks pregnant with baby number two. I am so, so excited. Everything is just like, oh my gosh, so mind-blowing to me that I'm pregnant. If you haven't watched my other videos, um, I got pregnant the first try this time around with baby number two which is just so insane to me. I'm just like, I thought it's gonna take longer, I'm older. I just did not expect to get pregnant right away. But we are so thrilled. Oh my goodness. So I will link down below all my previous videos, my live pregnancy test, TTC video, and all that fun stuff. So make sure you guys check those out as well. And if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing and joining me on this crazy journey. Today I'm going to be going over how I was feeling at four weeks and five weeks. So at four weeks, if you told me I was pregnant, I would have said no way. I didn't think I was, I didn't feel like I was. And then at the end of four weeks, I took the pregnancy test and it came back positive. And I was just like so shocked because I had absolutely zero symptoms, no feeling of being pregnant at all but five weeks feels a lot different. Um, I'm definitely a lot more lethargic. I don't have the motivation to work out like I used to. I have to really force myself to work out. Um, my lower back hurts so bad all the time. And I never had that with Martin. Even when I was like nine months pregnant and huge, my back never hurt but my back hurts so bad. It's so weird. And then I just kind of can feel like my uterus expanding, which is so crazy because I don't remember really feeling this with Martin, but I also didn't find out I was pregnant with him until like eight weeks. So I probably wasn't very aware of what was going on. And I was the first time pregnant mama and this time around I'm like really a lot more body conscious like aware of what's going on with my body and paying a lot more attention to everything. I had to take notes because I feel like mom brain mixed with being pregnant is just like double. But let me see what else. Yeah, I've had I've had mild cramping, nothing major, just like a little bit here and there and I feel like that's um, my uterus expanding and I googled it of course like you know everyone does and it's pretty normal but I, again I don't remember that with Martin I don't remember feeling like that um, and I am so thirsty all the time just like so thirsty I can never quench my thirst I am drinking so much water right now and typically I have to, like, I struggle to drink water and stay hydrated, but right now, like, I cannot get enough water. I haven't had any nausea, any, like, morning sickness, so far no food aversions or anything like that, um, but it's still really early. I mean, anything could happen. I didn't have any nausea at all with Martin but I had like major food aversion. So I'm curious to see what happens with this time around. I have noticed that smells are like really intense, but it's like, it's like really weird things that I noticed the smell. Like today I was putting on this like little like chapstick lip gloss thing and I was like, oh, has this always smelled this bad or is it going bad? And the, the smell like subsided, but at first I was just like, oh my gosh. So I had to text my friend and I was like, hey, you have this brand, right? Does it always smell like this? And she was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And she smelled it. She's like, yeah, I mean, it smells a little like earthy, but it's not bad. And I was like, oh, it's just me, huh? <laughs> but other than that, like I'm feeling really good. I'm so excited I don't know I mean it's just so crazy that I'm pregnant and it's so crazy that I know so early and I mean 
this is just amazing but let's see what the app i use says about what's going on in my body right now so i just use the what to expect app i use this with martin and i found it really informative and really great um so baby is the size of an orange seed it's so cute I think it's so cute the way they like do it to fruit. I don't know why. I know some people do other things, but I like the fruit. Let me see. Okay, they say that common symptoms are food cravings and inversions. I haven't really had either of those. Fatigue, definitely fatigue. Nausea, so far, not yet. Excess saliva, no but I'm thirsty all the time. Okay, so this says, when you're five weeks pregnant, your baby's heart is made up of two tiny channels called heart tubes. Oh my gosh, they're already hard at work. When those tubes fuse together, your baby will have a fully functioning heart. Though he, well they say he, but like obviously we don't know the gender. Though he or she, almost certainly has oh, a grip on your heart baby does i just find it so amazing how quickly like the cells come together and the baby starts forming and also just like how quickly this little baby really truly does just steal your heart and i am so excited for martin to be a big brother so excited Oh, another symptom that I just thought of that I've been having is I have been so clumsy. I've just been spilling everything. I don't know why. I don't know how. But I'm just like knocking things over left and right. And at first I was just like, gosh, I'm clumsy. But then I think it's a symptom. I think. But anyways. I'm so excited, but um, as far as like diet and everything goes, I'm eating just the same, the same. I'm trying to incorporate more greens. I'm trying to incorporate more healthy foods. I'm taking my prenatals. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing right now is making sure like I have a balanced, healthy diet, trying to get more greens. I'm not the best at eating my greens, but I'm really trying and trying to eat more fruits and smoothies or whatever the case may be to make sure I'm getting all of that and I am just so thrilled so excited this is so new but I'm so excited so I plan on doing these little update videos I haven't decided if I'm going to do every week or every other week and just like compile it but I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated and I am going to just keep a record of this pregnancy because I didn't do this with Martin and I wish I did. I wish I had this to look back on and to see where I was at when I was pregnant and how I was feeling and I just am so excited and this baby is already so loved. Okay, so I was editing this and I realized I forgot to let you guys know today is the 1st of July. I don't go to the doctor till the 28th of July. But we're going to be doing an ultrasound that day and thank the Lord, Matthew gets to come in for the ultrasound, but he, that's the only part of the appointment he's allowed to be at. I have to go up by myself and then once I'm in the room and they're ready to do the ultrasound, I call him, he can come up, they take everyone's temperature, blah, 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 we all have to wear masks. And then during the ultrasound, he can be there, which I'm so excited about. And then right after the ultrasound, he has to leave and I have to do the rest of the appointment by myself. So this is going to be so different than when I was pregnant with Martin. Because when I was pregnant with Martin, Matthew went to every single appointment with me. He never missed anything. He was there for everything. And so it's going to be a lot different doing this more by myself. But at least he gets to be there for the ultrasound because that's like the really special, really fun part. So... Just wanted to update you guys on that part with all this COVID stuff and being in a pandemic. Everything just looks so different and I wanted to share 
that side of everything with you guys as well. So if you are new, I hope you consider joining me on this journey. Just hit that red subscribe button down there, the bell next to it gives you notifications every time I post a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm having a baby! Bye guys. <laughs>